I asked this guy, we both know him. I go, do you like fat models? He goes, yeah, I love. I Slave love mine. Women. Slave mine. <laughs> Fucking lie. The law is set up in the way in the Western world where men have absolutely zero power. Most men are, are clinically depressed, working jobs they hate for, in sexless marriages, and they know they can't leave because they lose the house and they lose the kids and they lose everything else. So they don't have time to be concerned with anything that's actually happening in the world. They keep mm. us divided and distracted. And empowering females is the easiest way to weaken the will of men. Motivating females and empowering them to the point where they're going to sit there and go, you know what? I'm a feminist. You can't tell me what to do. I'm allowed to go out with my friends. He's just my friend. I'm allowed to sleep at his house and drink vodka. Oh, I only sucked his dick. What's the problem? You know what? Fine. We get a divorce. I'm taking the fucking house. Yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah. Yep. I, I don't believe in marriage in terms of an institution, not because I am against the idea of loving a woman, but I'm so anti-government. I don't want them to have anything to do with me, especially where my dick goes. So mm. fuck them. Yeah. That's right. Spaniards. I took her. She's done with. <laughs> done. I took your prize possession. She's messed up. Whichever Spanish man gets with her next, he'll be like, why is she always starting arguments with me? Why is she never happy? Because she's dreaming of the night she had with me. She's unhappy with you and you'll never be able to please her. She's widowed forever. It's done. <laughs> Fuck you, Spain. That's what you have to tell me to put a fucking mask on. I might go on easy on her pussy if it wasn't for that little fucking Pedro motherfucker. And also, too, I worry if I am too submissive, will he not respect me? Nah, Do you no, 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 no. Get, get rid of that. Get rid, get of, rid that. of that. Get rid of that stupid that shit. That won't respect oh, wow. me crap. That's not real. Is that yeah. real? Really? I, you know what? So many women say to me, you're so, oh, Andrew, geez. you know what? You're so rich, but you're smart and you're actually very intelligent. And I know you'd get really bored of a, like a robot. And I'm sitting there thinking, bitch, I wish to God you were a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, have you broken someone's bones? Have I broken someone's bones? I've broken a bunch of bones. How does that feel? Great. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. No, seriously. Like, I'm being I serious. I don't give the a first fuck. Time you I've escaped the Matrix. And when I talk about the Matrix, it primarily applies to men because men are the backbone of the slave force. We always have been and always will be. And unfortunately now, if you're a law-abiding man inside the Matrix, your future and the life that is laid out for you is nothing but depressing. You're going to go to school. You're going to get in debt. You're going to get a job. You're going to get a wife. Divorce is coming. You're going to lose the house eventually. Your job's shit. Inflation's outpacing your wages. You're going to work, work, work. No one's going to appreciate it. Now you're old and your life's over. That is the matrix for 99% of men. And you need to find a way to escape it. I told him, man, go get on the, on the train in Portugal and ride it for three weeks all the way to Singapore and think about what a fucking punk you are. And at least you'll, at least you'll end it with some stories. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, you have plenty of time to reflect on what a bitch you are. <laughs> Go into the bathroom and look in the mirror, look deep in your eyes and say, yeah, I wouldn't fuck me either. If you buy a McLaren, you accept that half the time it's going to fucking break for no reason. It's just a pain in the ass. If you want something reliable, you get a Toyota. If you want something sexy as fuck that comes with a bunch of problems, you get a McLaren. I'm the McLaren. You chose you me, bitch. You are the McLaren. You chose me. Yeah. You, there's, I'm not going to act like a Toyota. I'm the McLaren. So <laughs> you, you're just going to have to accept what comes with me. Yeah. You are a McLaren. That's yeah. really good. Thank That's you. accurate. It's a good analogy. No? It is yeah. a really good analogy. I, I use that to Romanian bitches don't even speak English. <laughs> McLaren? Like, yes, bitch. McLaren. That's all they <laughs> <Now> shut <laughs> up. <laughs> have you had a serious relationship? I, but I, I have many concurrent serious relationships oh, wow. as we speak. Are you poly? No, because that means they can talk to other dudes. That's fucking haram. <laughs> That's atrocious. That's disgusting. I have a saying, and it's not a very, it's not a very remarkable saying, but I use it all the time. And that's dumb shit leads to dumb shit. And I say that for an example, like let's say you, you, you leave your car unlocked. You're unprofessional, you leave your car unlocked. Now it gets stolen. Now, now you're just a police case. Now that, dumb shit leads to dumb shit. So when I'm around people who do dumb shit or unprofessional mm. things, or they're not smooth, or they're not, they don't get their shit right, or they're negative, that I refuse because it comes true. Yeah. It's like you, you make it true. If I hang around with your stupid ass long enough, all the stupid <laughs> shit you're true. talking about is going to happen to me. Yeah. So it's like you That's speak yeah. it into existence. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I refuse to be around it. Dumb shit leads to dumb shit. Everyone I talk to is such a fucking winner that when I sit around, <laughs> all I could do is accidentally win. Yeah. It's like, oh shit, bam, more money. When they deliberately yeah. convince you things that aren't true and they destroy objective reality, yes. your mind is now fully open for programming. Yeah. That is a woman because she says she's a woman. <laughs> yeah. That is attractive because they said this is a pandemic. I work hard. Inflation is good. Inflation is good. Give me my fifth booster injection. <laughs> it's it's destro it's destroying your mind to the point where you're well, completely oh, open yeah. for programming. If women were truly happy doing that for so long, maybe this whole women's lib thing, how did that come about? That's a psyop from the New World Order. They are deliberately trying to turn women against men. They have to divide the peasants. That's the only way they, the elites can retain control. They turn the blacks against the whites, the Democrats oh. against the Republicans, the women against the men. Listen to me outside this house saying I love my new car. 
There you go. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> but I, I didn't do nothing. Like, I know uh, this is probably going to be in trouble with somebody. Listen, English police, you've arrested me enough, right? I didn't do nothing. I'm trying to spread the word of the Lord. I'm a Jehovah's Witness. I really want to bring him closer to Christ. Yeah, 